Talk about what it feels like to be back at the Sunbelt Final. It's been a little while for you guys, but you're back, and just talk about how it feels. <laughs> Um, it feels um, really good. Um, we've, we've been through so much, you know, as a team, going through a lot of, you know, personal and team stuff. But I mean, at the end of the day, we're still a lady topper basketball team, and we've held each other hand every step of the way. I mean, it just feels really good. That's what we're supposed to be. It feels really good. Well, Keisha, same to you. Same question to you. Just talk about how it feels to be back in a, in a time of game. Your first one. Um, I just think it's really exciting for, you know, us as a program, you know, like Coach Cal said, we, we're used to this. It's something we should be able to get back to. So I just think it's really exciting for us in our program. Back here in the back. James Brandenburg from WBKO. Keisha, you came in in the first half. It was one of those games where things were going really well for you early. I wonder what exactly you saw or what exactly you were feeling that, that kind of got you into that, into that rhythm you were in in the first half, um, especially in the first half, I should say. Well, we, well, I feel like I just came in and, you know, do what I can. Rebound was the main thing. If, you know, our post players or our guards missed shots, I was there to try to do what I can to rebound. So that was basically it. Down front here. Oh, still in the back. Okay. Arnika, you talked about just about, you know, some of what you guys have been through as a team this season. I wonder um, – you haven't accomplished your, your entire goal yet, but uh, how emotional is it for you guys to be able to, I, I guess, put a three-game run together like you have and know you know you have an opportunity to win a championship tomorrow? I mean, it's, it's very emotional, but, you know, we can't really let that show right now. We're pretty much, you know, going to focus and do what we have to do to win tomorrow, and then, of course, other emotions and stuff will come out. Uh, Coach Bob Wise from the Sentinel Record now spring. Is, 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 the, is it dawn when you can, you can reach 500 in the NCAA tournament the same day? Yes. E explain the 15 16 to us, <laughs> to those who haven't, to those not familiar with your team. Explain our record? Yes. I can't. I can't explain to you how that record got the way it was this season. Yes, I've thought about the fact that tomorrow afternoon we could be going to the big dance and we could have a 500 record. But I don't really concentrate on the record at that point. Um, we're more concentrated on getting prepared for whoever our next opponent is going to be and having an opportunity to, uh, you know, continue playing postseason. Any other questions for the players here? And then we'll get to the coach here in just a moment. Arnika, you guys held them to two points in basically the last ten minutes. Um, could you just tell me the keys to, to hold them to two points and, and what you guys did, did defensively? Yeah, Joey Carnes. I, we have to, you know, applaud him big time, our, which is our strength and conditioning coach. And our, our coach has been stressing, you know, all year, when he gets down to the nitty gritty, you have to kick it into another gear. And I mean, that's, that's basically what we did. And I mean, Arkansas State, you know, they're a really good team. You know, not taking anything from them. But we just took it to heart and we knew what we wanted to get accomplished and we did. We knew that we wanted to get back to the championship game. And we just came together as a team and we decided to do that. Another question back here in the back, please. Arnika, I know you guys haven't had a chance to do a lot of breakdown yet. You don't know who you're going to play tomorrow, but uh, you beat UALR on the road. You lost to FIU twice. I wonder if you can just talk about you know both those teams and and, and maybe the the challenges they respect they present respectively for you guys potentially tomorrow. And when it comes to both of those teams, you know us as a basketball team, we have respect you know for both of those teams, and those were three great three great ball games and three hard fought ball games. Um, FIU, you know, they're, they're, they're a great team, and 23 kind of head or, head or whatever it is. But, you know, either way it goes, we're just going to do what we're doing, prepare for them, and get ready for whoever we play. Anything else for these 